a lot of people ask me the question, why do I work out? And uh, you know, I just tell them I work out to be active. I work out to, to actually stay fit. And I work out because I love it. You know, it didn't really become a love for me until after I stopped playing sports. Doing sports, I worked out just as a tool to, um, you know, further my performance in sports. You know, I didn't really focus on like biceps, triceps. Really, I didn't care much how I looked because I just love playing sports. And in order to get better, you had to lift weights, you know, and um, get to a point to where I've always been active, you know, from the age of seven playing little league football to, you know, little, you know, to peewee basketball or whatever you call it. Um, even throughout middle school to high school, I played three sports, so I've always been an active person. You know, always been active. Um, you know, even as a kid going outside, that's why I really can't understand a lot of these kids now how they just stay in the house all day and stay stuck behind the technology. I guess it's just a change of the generation, you know, but we used to have to go outside and play. And I just think now that that's why a lot of kids are suffering, you know what I'm saying, with obesity. And they, they have a lot of ailments that normally don't show up until you're like 35 at a young age because it's fast food and pretty much staying in. Um, but the fact that I fell in, fell in love and actually working out that at that point, I had suffered an injury. You know, I got married and I hadn't worked out since I graduated. So from the age of 18, I may have worked out and tried to join the gym twice. But I worked so much, but from the age of 18 maybe to I got about 26, um, I had joined this gym and I was lifting weights, really wasn't lifting evenly. But what I mean by evenly, like training your chest back and working out everything on an equilateral standpoint. I used to just hit my chest all the time. And while doing dumbbells, as I was coming down with the dumbbell in the negative motion, in the eccentric motion, I separated my shoulder. And from that, I always wanted to know why, how it happened. So when I went to physical therapy, I kind of seen a different side of how training can actually help you. Because they're actually training me to rehabilitate muscles that I didn't care about, muscles that I didn't know actually existed. So from that standpoint is when I thought about, you know, becoming a personal trainer. And not only just training people to help them, but training people to inform them how to do things correctly. You know what I'm saying? How to prevent them from hurt, from actually getting hurt. And um, that's just one of the things that I've always been adamant on, just, you know, giving out the information, you know, telling why you do, um, explaining body mechanics. And it, it's always been something that I've always liked doing is keeping people from falling into the same hole that I, that I fell in. You know, because if I knew then, back then, the actual stuff that I know now, I would be a much better athlete. But um, in school, they didn't teach a lot of lifting techniques. It was just flat bench, incline, hang clean, and squat. Bigger, faster, stronger. So um, it, it wasn't, the, the weight room wasn't really pushed that much until football season was about to begin or summer, you know. So, um, and then just trying to be a healthy role model, man. Like for people at work, for, for people in my family. Because in the black community, a lot of people are dying from, you know, diabetes, hypertension high blood pressure, high cholesterol, basically just being unhealthy. And a lot of the uh, the diets that African Americans have, they adapt to culture to eating a lot of high fatty salt foods, you know, fried chicken, you know, collard greens, but it's all in the way you season it or how you pre prepare your food. And I just wanna, you know, try to help with that epidemic, you know, um, diabetics. Um, a lot, if a lot of people understood how carbohydrates work, and how you become a diabetic, I think it can be pre prevented, but a lot of people don't actually learn until after they have the illness. And so that's just one of the things I've always wanted to be is one of those guys that could help pre pre prevent, not just wait till it happens, like, oh, you gotta go to the doctor, but you know, just, just explain the importance of, of being healthy, being around for your family, being around for your kids. You know, you don't wanna be that person that your family's always gotta, gotta pray for and always gotta go visit in the hospital and they just worry because then, then you become a burden. You know, you don't want to be a burden. Um, so just in all in a nutshell, you know, I, I, I just train because I love it. You know, I love lifting weights. I, I love the feeling I get. It's a great stress relief. You know what I'm saying? It's a great stress relief. Like, I'll go to work and deal with some crazy stuff all day, but then when I go in the gym, it's a great stress relief. You got to have balance, you know. As humans, we're always taught to hold things in. Don't cry, don't yell, don't, don't scream. But after a while, you gotta release something, and going to the gym is my release. You know, uh, my release.
going to church is is my, is my release. You know, laughing and joking is my release. So you gotta find your release. You know, and just you know, just being motivational. Um, you, you just gotta do it. You know, separate yourself from people that try to keep you from doing things. You know what I'm saying? If it's not if it's not gonna kill you, then and if it's if, if it's your goal, go after it. Don't 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 sit back and let somebody that's not doing anything dictate what you're gonna do with your future. You know. So um, yeah, man, I, I I love you. You know, I was at work today, looking forward to going to the gym and drinking my protein shake. I, you know, it's just something about training that you can become the best version of, of yourself physically. You know, by training, pushing your body to the limit. And the human body, man, is so amazing because uh, the way God made us, your body repairs itself. It grows. It produces hormones. So once you get to to studying the endocrine system, the muscular skeletal system, body mechanics, man, it it will amaze you and what you can do with your body. You know, you see a lot of ailments out here. You see it. It's just being healthy, man. Keeping that core health is really what's going to help you. I mean, I just love it. I just love it. So, you know, if, if, if there's no more questions, you know, I like to just say, um, I like to thank my my YouTube viewers, comment, like, and uh, subscribe to my channel. You know, leave me comments and feedback. But as I always, say, but love, be blessed.